hi guys so today we are looking at msc cruise uh, online application form because again they are recruiting right now if there's a cruise that is recruiting like crazy is msc cruises you can either do the application on their website on the official online website or you can fill in this application form for the upcoming recruitment that will be happening in kenya okay so guys if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so give this video a thumbs up and make sure that your bell icon is on so that you can be notified whenever i post a video so guys i don't want you to just skip this video i'm going to be taking you uh, a step by step on how to fill this inform uh, form uh, explaining to you all the necessary details that you need to have and uh, so stay tuned until the end of this video okay and um, so uh, what i'm going to do i'm just going to uh, fill in this application form for you guys with you guys and then i will i will leave the link uh, for the application form and also the link to the email where to send your cv and every details that you need uh, to know about this specific application form on the description box of this video. So let's get to it, into it. So this is the MAC Cruise Online application form. And they say the survey will take approximately five minutes to complete candidate contact form. Please fill in out the following questionnaire and one of our recruiter associates will get in touch with you for upcoming recruitment opportunities. So what you need to do is uh, start by filling in your email. So I'm going to do that right now. Uh, so this email is for the purpose of this video. So I've just uh, done the email part of it. And uh, yes, and then the next thing you need to do is put your surname. So you guys know my surname. If you didn't know, when I say I'm called Travel with Thu uh it means uh the way is my son and that's my dad's name and uh then after that you need two other names so others name is my my first name which is pauline pauline okay uh one zero one zero is my name actually and then there is where you i need to fill in my nationality so I'm sure some of you always ask, uh, can other nationality apply with the MSC cruises? Yes, you can. So there's always option for Kenyans and other nationalities because uh, this specific form is from uh, a recruiting, a manning agents for MSC cruises in, the, in Kenya. So when you click here, there's two options, there's Kenyan and there's other. So if you're from Kenya, just click Kenyan. If you're from others, just click others. So personally, I'm from yeah kenya i'm just going to click kenyan there is where i have to put my age <laughs> i told you guys age is never a problem okay we have age we have ages ages a lot of them a lot of ages hmm? so i'm just going to, no 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 i'm not 28 last year i was 28 this year i'm 29 so after you fill in the age this is where you have to fill in your gender uh, so I'm a, if you're a male, well and good, just click male. If you're a female, click female. If yeah, yeah, if you're female, click female. <laughs> so I'm a female, and then there's this part where you feel you need to fill in your contact number. So you, my contact number, I was just going to fill it now. So allow me to post this video for me to be able to key in my number. Uh, so so I've just put key in my number. And then they give you, you have to key in the alternative contact number. So I'll do that also. And I'm just going to post the video. So I've keyed, I have keyed in my number and my alternative number. Actually, I don't have an alternative number. So I've just key in my number twice. Okay. My contact and also my alternative number. Contact is the same. Okay. If you have a different one, well and good. If you don't have, just key in the same number. So the next thing is I have to fill in my email. Also, I'm just going to click that and then fill in. So this that's my the normal email that you guys have. That is travelwithu at gmail.com. Okay, travelwithu at gmail.com. And then after that, I need to fill in my country of residence county not country county 
So here, if you're from Mombasa, just key in Mombasa. If you're from Nairobi, you just need to key in Mo uh, Nairobi. If you're from Moranga, Nairobi, whatever county you're from, you just need to key in. So I'll just key in Nairobi. Nairobi. Okay. So, and then after that, there's the option of education. This is where you key in your education there's masters there's degree there's diploma there's certificate and there's other so i'm just going to go for certificate uh, there we go and then there's they ask you if you have a passport so if you have one you say yes if you don't have you say no and uh let's go let's let's see so i've just key in the certificate and then uh, there's this other question. They ask if I have a passport or no. So it's either you key in yes or no. So it's always good to key in. If you have, say yes. If you don't have, say no. But if you don't have, there's a high chance of them not shortlisting you because normally they want someone who already have a passport. So my answer is no. I just keyed in no. And then there's where I have to key in my number, my ID number. And allow me again to post for this one for um, confidential purposes. So I just get in my ID number and this this question of US visa. Uh, do you have a C1D visa? No, I don't have to. I'll just key in. No, if you are if you are a person who have worked in a cruise before, if you or you have a, a C1D visa, you have to click yes. Then there's a valid STCW certificate. If you have one key, yes, key in yes. If you don't have, say no, like I have done. I've said no. Then there's where they ask about the COVID-19 vaccine. So I'll just say yes, I do have. And then what you do is just click next. So when you click next, uh, you come to where you have to key in your work experience. Uh, there's the department. There's galleries, restaurant, bar, housekeeping, guest service, entertainment, yacht club, store, there's shop, there's deck, there's engine, there's others. So it depends on what you're looking for. So for me, I'm going for entertainment because under entertainment, I want to apply for a youth staff position. Youth staff is where you worked with kids. So if you're a teacher and you love to work on a cruise ship, this is the position that you should be eyeing on. So what I'll do, I just click, I will just select entertainment. Okay, that's the department I want to apply for. Then do you have previous onboard cruise experience? I have not worked on a cruise ship, so you click no. If you've worked in a cruise ship, you just need to click yes. Okay, so I'll just click this. Then there's your current employer who have employed you. So you just need to key in again. I'll just key in for the purpose of the video. That is Jade uh, School, Jude School. Sorry, Jude School. School. So they also ask you your current job position. So I'll just say it's a teacher. A teacher. Teacher, there is a number of years, so 10 years experience. If you have four years, if you have two years, if you have three years, if you have the years that you have in your experience, just key in them. And then there is communication, they ask you, Where did you hear about us? Uh, so you just need to say where you heard about them. So for me, I had MEC from. Facebook, if you heard them from LinkedIn, Instagram, newspaper, friends or family, and then others. When you click on others, you'll find that you can be in TikTok. So if you got to hear about them on TikTok, you click others, then TikTok. So for me, I'm just going to click on Facebook. And then from there, what they tell you is, uh, please submit your CV to CY974 Cruise. So after you finish this application form, you have to submit your CV. You have to send your CV to this specific email that they have indicated here. I'm just going to leave the link, uh, the, the, the email on the description box of this video. I'm also going to leave the link of this application form on the description box of this video for you guys to click on it. And then they ask you availability date to join the onboard cruises. 
so it's always good to select the uh, the nearest one so i'm just going to go with may first first may and then from here they ask you if you you give them consents for processing your of personal data you can read here to understand what it also entails and then if you agree you just need to click on yes and the next thing you do is submit okay so for me i'm not going to submit uh, because i've done this application before and i don't want to have a duplicate application because i've used the same same email for the purpose of this tutorial so all you just need to do is click submit and then after you submit uh you use after you submit you just need to to do what to send your email your cv to this email okay you upload your cv only to this email and then you will have done your app online application form and then you, what you do is wait for them to get back they might get back or not get back with them in see crisis sometimes they don't get back and if they have shortlisted you definitely they are going to get back you just need to you just uh, you just need to be patient so guys i'm wishing you all the best as you do this application and i cannot wait to see you on board uh so guys if you haven't subscribed at this point please do so give this video a thumbs up share it with your friend and eh? uh, leave a comment eh? is a comment whose idea sana i've spoken in swahili for that reason so just leave a comment and make sure that your bell icon is on so that whenever i post a video you get notified you like you watch until the end you leave a comment and that's how you grow and guys i cannot wait for us to get to 10,000 uh, subscribers because i have a giveaway for you guys so thank you so much for watching see you in our next one